Hello everybody, I will be talking about the security issues about the sensor network case study I did, which is BindSense. So before I get into the overview, here's a recap of BindSense. Basically, it's a wireless sensor network that helps manage your vineyard. There's a network of sensors deployed in vineyards on individual plants which collect data, sends it to its node, which then sends it to the GPS gateway, which then sends it to a remote server for web portal access. As you can see from the pictures, the top is the conceptual design and the bottom is the actual hardware that is used in BindSense. And I'll be going through the system's key security risks, key privacy risks, emulation tactics that can be used and uh, what future development has in store for the security, security risks involved. Physical uh, key security is uh, mainly physical security because the devices are placed over a huge area and are easily removed by t or tempered with either by people, wild animals that stumble in, or maybe even heavy storms. And there's about web portal authentication also seems to be a key risk as the manual does not state that there is anything like SMS security and if somebody managed to get a hold of the password and access they could do quite a bit of damage to the vineyard through direct controls to irrigation and also get access to all of the farm's data. Network security wise seems pretty solid as they have good emulation tactics for that which I will get into later. But with the broadcast nature of wireless networks, there is always still a risk of malicious sniffing, DDoS attacks and so on, as it has been shown recently that even FHSS is not safe from such attacks. As for key privacy issues, this system stores mainly data concerning the vineyard's crops, which means data about the vineyard's crops' uh, statuses, harvests and practices, which one could probably use that information to also work out the finances of the vineyard. As for the web portal itself, it does store information about the user access, including date, time and where it was from, if applicable, and the device name. Emulation tactics network security-wise, VineSense states that it uses a secure data encryption and a unique key lock sequence for every wireless node to prevent stealing and ensuring correct use with only other genuine, genuine NetSense products and only in combination with its master node which comes from the factory. As for the authentication risk, the user himself needs to practice safe habits like having unique password combinations for his various online accounts, accessing only from trusted networks and safe devices. An SMS security feature could also be developed like how banking systems use them, but there are no plans for this. Physical security-wise, GPS tags could be implemented into the nodes or sensors for tracking in case they got lost, but due to resource constraints, this might not be feasible. As for future developments in the network security features of VineSense, NetSense has stated that it keeps up with the latest in encryption technology and network security developments, and has firmware upgrades for the gateways and nodes regularly. But besides that, there isn't really a lot of cases of vineyards and farms being hacked that would require any other specific development. But in general, wireless sensor networks usually have constraints of low resources, low cost, low computation power, which makes it hard to properly implement the usual network security technology. But this gets better as better hardware is developed and more efficient encryption methods are developed. Thank you for listening.